Hey everybody! Happy Saturday to you. We are playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I started up and realized that there's probably like an opening cutscene here, so I wanted to be sure to watch that on stream here specifically. But yeah, let's just get into it. Hmm. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. I'm gonna go with... Ah... Uh, hmm... This one's closest. I wish there was somewhere between on the gradient. They're just doing the thing where it's just like the same anime face over and over again and it's like, we just made the skin darker, which is like... Eh? Close, guys, but not not quite. You gotta put in a little more effort than just changing the skin tone. What is thy name? Iggy. Let's, uh... Bam. There we go. Yes. Iggy. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Iggy. Yeah? Yeah, what's up? Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Okay. You don't gotta gussy it up, dude. You just, you just say, gotta catch them all. I intend to. I mean, I'm gonna do my best. I'm not gonna promise 100% playthrough. Like I tried to do with a shield. I can turn this game up a little bit. It's actually kind of quiet. No, my cell phone. Wow. Alright, line that up correct. Hello. Hmm. Yes. Feels very Kingdom Hearts with all the sparkles. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, can't read your name. Hold on. Let me turn my brightness up. Hello, monster. What? 20k JK? It's a bit far away. Apologies. Thanks for tuning in. Coming in right at the beginning here. Wake up! No, oh, do wake up, won't you? Who said that? Are you alive, my girl? Who is it? Oh, that guy. Okay. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Mm, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? So rude. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Uh, I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. I see that abyssal portal right behind you, dude. Is that... Should we be concerned? Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh... I don't know. Maybe. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh... Somehow, I guess. Do my best. Little friends. They're so big. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Ooh. Boom. Push splash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up to... I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Who you think I am? My, that's a relief. 
Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, the mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and why might, what might your name be? Oh, oh, so you're called Icky. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. Maybe it's Leventon. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here would... Hmm. Later. Now oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon! Why must you run away from me again? Oh, I'm going Rowlet, baby. For sure, I usually go Grass type. And specifically, Rowlet is my jam. I have like a Rowlet hoodie um, that I'm not currently wearing. <laughs> but also, I'm not on camera, so you wouldn't be able to tell anyways. I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Here we go. Yeah, although I did, uh, I mean, I've played all of them in Gen 2, because I'd always get up to Whitney and then, you know, quit because I couldn't beat her. So, I, I've played all of the Gen 2 ones. Cyndaquil, I think, was one of my first choices, because he's just a little guy. And then, uh, uh, Oshawott is cool. I don't, I don't know. Can I, like, oh, 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 that's crouch. That's run. We got, like, a strike. Nope. Oh, I do have a recenter, which is useful. More games need recenter camera. Oh, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? There's a glowing beeping object over there. Yes? You want to pick it up? You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. I feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Thanks, pal. Ah, there we go. I like I like a little bit of an up, or rather, I guess a down angle. Ooh. Not quite that severe, though. Yeah, I still want a bit of horizon. Ah, alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. But no, I'm good. Now that one is Rowlet. Oh, look at him stepping. <laughs> Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Here he comes. Oh, there he goes. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up when it is surprised or irate. Boom. And that one's an otter. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Plish Plash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50 Pokeballs, nice. A uh, mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as it can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three one runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. So far, be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs. Hold down ZR. Okay, release ZR. Yep. Where that man at? Where that... Ugh. Can I invert this? Hold on. OK. 
can I pause? Minus. Oh, 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 okay. Invert the, oh, not allowed to change the controls. There we go, inverted. Thank you. Much better. Right, that worked, didn't it? Yeah, 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 that feels correct. Oh, Masha what? No thanks. That's my man. That's my man right there. Get him. Oh, oh. Oh. Nice. Caught. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you're qu you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Iggy. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yeah, they're just little guys. We want. Now let's just get Oshawa for this here. Bang. Caught. Whoa. Oh, oh, he fought a little bit. I can hardly believe it, Iggy Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Where is Cyndaquil at? Up here? Hmm. Was that the wind or was that him? Oh, wait, he's by the rocks, right? Yeah, there he is. Gotcha. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, ah, oh, he escaped. Hmm. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. There. Where'd he go? There'd he go. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Nice. Okay. Got into. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone. Hold on a second, I'm assigning my, uh, my, uh, customizable paddles. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come fa falling. Yeah, that still makes sense. But I must say, Iggy, I was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I love that it's got the big old like... I, I guess that is the phone itself, but it looks like one of those big old like rubbery cases. Ooh, got a shiny Growlithe and a shiny Zoruwa today. Nice. Good work. Seek out all Pokemon. Yeah, I've never gone like shiny hunting. Is it easier in this? I guess you can tell from before you approach them if they're shiny or not, which would help a little bit. But I I don't know. Are they as rare as they are in other Pokemon games? That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing de detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Um, now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Uh... Yeah, sure. Then whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokémon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Hmm? Oh, 
what I'm saying. That's been back there, looming. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokémon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. It's all good, man. Mm. Mm. It's got that big old dip in the middle for the road. Which, I mean, roads, I guess, were just spots where people walked the most, so. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Uh-oh. This road we're on now is known to the locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not many to do it. you all being judgy. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, okay. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left, the Wallflower it's called. Okay. Oh, what's that? Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow, it seems to show where you need to go next. The map and markers. Use the minus button to view the map. Also see guidance markers when you're out exploring. Okay. I do prefer a quest... <coughs> Excuse me. I prefer a quest marker that's just, like, visible out in the world rather than, like, a compass... Because it at least keeps you still looking up, you know? What's up? Hmm? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wildflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along! Hmm. Same. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Who in the world are you? What's that bizarre garb you're wearing? The Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Is it Professor Leventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. But the professor, well, rubbed. I haven't heard that word in a long time. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Ah. Oh, wait, that was a Leventon talking. Whoops. But everything will be quiet all right now. Iggy here has agreed to help us with our Pokédex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Ah, yes. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origin. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I, per I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. 
Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Aren't all mochi potato? I thought that it was just like a glob of potato starch. Hmm. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, oh, well, you know that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Is that a joke? Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I can con I, I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place, in the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. All but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sort of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Iggy will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. It's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. It seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really... Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Iggy. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Iggy join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Iggy's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Iggy, was it? For tonight at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Selene's like Hisui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we tuned in, turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can fall out of the futons we sleep, one can't fall out of... Man, I'm having difficulty talking. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. With that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Hmm. Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. All right, let's check out our apartment. Enter. Wow, this is really generous. I was expecting like a, a common room like bunk. This chest looks like it, you could store lots and lots of items in it. Hmm. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Makes sense. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. Read them at any time, simply press the up button. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Save your progress, press the up button, and then go to the save screen. Got it. I mean, it auto saves, right? So I don't think it's that big a deal. Modern auto saves are very generous. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. A dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Our five principles behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. 
Difficulties must be faced head on. Oh, that tracks. Oh. Oh, I was reading it through the... Okay. Mirror? It's a full-length mirror. Oh, I don't have any outfits to change into. There's some lovely stones that someone must have found. They're just plain old stones. It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. I don't know if that sounds safe, but okay. Okay, yeah, this is a big old place for somebody that they're not even sure is going to stick around. And get on that futon, baby. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes, let's do that. Hmm, cutscene. Whoa. Whoa. Badoofs. Mm. Wow. I wonder what that was. The next day. Hey in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Okay. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. You better not keep Captain Celine waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. It's like right there, right? Do, 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 do. Hello? Let's go! Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Never seen a building this grand before? Don't give up, keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. So my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. You uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Selene, ma'am. Radigi. You may enter. Oh, he's just floating over there. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Easy. Easy. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the Pokemon wasn't exaggerating things... Wait, no. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Hmm. Little bag. And whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Active. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Iggy. Come with me a moment. I'm going to get my Pokemon. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What do you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Iggy absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, hey, guys. Give me the round boy. Give me the round boy. I mean, they're all round friends, but you know who I'm talking about. 
Go on, Iggy, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very de dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Rowlet. Give him to me. He's mine! Do you want Rowlet as your first partner? Yes. Yes! Yes! Look at him stepping. This big boy. Hmm. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Oh, getting a little close there, bud. I got a Rowlet. Sight. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Oh. Look at those two cheer on their pal Rowlet. Maybe they just wanted to help Iggy with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Iggy fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. So many! Hey, welcome back, monster. So he's giving me 70? That's a lot of Pokeballs. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. We'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. Okay. To the left. And let me see how the mission screen looks. Cool. Okay. And then, oop, uh, zoom. Gotcha. Okay. Let's get him. Is that Graveler? No. No, it is not. He's just a rock. Oh, hello. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo build, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Asui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the Arda novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Let's give it a shot. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Oh. Kinko Guild member Volo challenged you to battle. Togepi. Oh, just a little guy. Probably could eat that guy. And not just because he's a dick. Oh, level. Whoa. Rowlet has, like, a lot of health. Oh, oh get him. Get him, Rowlet. Oh, wait, I have to hit the right. Use Gust. Whoa. Get him again. Get him again. Oop. Oh, almost. Almost. Oof. One more. Hit him less. One time. Easy. Battle decided. Moves, items. Use them well and the world will open up to you. Hey, I leveled up. New move. Nice. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon moves. Oh, so you don't have to forget moves, you just have like a loadout. I like that. I always hated having to choose which ones to forget. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. 
And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Thanks, everybody's so generous. It's like, they're making it seem like it's way harsher than the other Pokemons, but like, everybody's super, super generous. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. 60 HP as well, that's like a lot. Now the shiny Electabuzz, wow, you're killing it. You'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. What, like, what is the appearance rate of shinies in this game? Compared to, like, standard Pokemon games. Because I know, like, regular shinies, it's like a point, like, 0.005% chance or something. Like, super rare. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand. Even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Field Lands! Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest of the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way, someone can come collect you if things go wrong. That's safe. That's very safe. Hey, I hope you make it through this. Sup, Ress? You're Iggy, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Over here? You wish to go to the field lands camp? Yes. Yes, I do. Hmm. Oh, a tent that opens on the side. That's neat. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, professor? Something wrong? Ah, well, you see, Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Iggy's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Iggy. Nice. Okay, we're going for a do first. Uh, I am going to step away for like a, a second to go grab some warm water. My voice is feeling a little tired with all the talking. So uh, don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back with more Pokemon Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute.
Hey, I am back. Got a little warm honey water for my voice. Yeah, my allergies have been going kind of wild. As spring comes on, so I've been getting hoarse a lot more. <laughs> I'm checking with my doctor to make sure everything's cool and all that. I don't think, you know, she doesn't seem worried about it, so I'll probably be fine. Just I, I don't want to take as many antihistamines. I was going through some medical nonsense because I was sick, and uh, all the medication really was wrecking my system. So, trying to not take any kind of pills for a while, if I can help it. Look, a Bidoof! Finding the... Oh, okay. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Selene taught me. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights. The Doof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. Okay. There he is. Okay. Let him go. His wiggly little butt. Look at his wiggly little buns. Got him. Nailed it. Locked in right? Yeah. First try. One Bidoof caught. Now on we march. Oh, later. What's next? Who's that? Oh. Hmm? Him. Now Starly here is the type to run at the drop of a hat. Yes. Not to worry. Crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. I, oh. I'm ahead of you on that. Where'd he go? Oh, oh there he is. Uh-oh. King. Don't tell nobody. Whoop. Whoop. Bam! Got him! Come on, come on. Stay in there. Yes. Nice. This is really not as hard as they made it out to be. That's Starly caught too. I admit I'm impressed so far. Who's up next? Ooh, berries. Can I shake at a tree? I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Celine's wise teachings, I have an item at the ray, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. I have a Pokemon at the ray, but want to throw an item? Press X. Captain's a real expert on these things. Then, once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks. Or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and will bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Hold up a second, huh? I just, uh... A skip. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna catch that one. Got it. Aw, it doesn't even let you throw it. I guess it would be a waste, but man. I wanted to at least try. Hmm. This honey is very much helping my throat. There it is. Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Yes, has what? Don't worry about it. Just focus on the Pokemon around you. You'll figure it out quick enough. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Let's see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows, the easier it'll be. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. It kind of cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. 
Not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. Draw them into battle. If this is caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. It's easy to start a fight. Just throw a Pokemon at them. Nice. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, he's upset. -y. Ah, no, no. Fighting. This man is just a little baby. He does not know. Him with the leaf. In with the leaf it wait. I messed up. I forgot I was supposed to catch him. You can't knock the Shinx out if you want to catch it. Even in battle, catching works the same. Choose an empty Pokeball from your satchel and throw. Well, 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 another one popped up immediately, so I guess I'm I lucked out. Oops. Rowlet used leafage. Jinx is looking around. Yes. Hmm. I don't get to like aim it and everything when it's in a battle. Fine. I did it though. You got Jinx. Wait, did you really? You really did. You did it. That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Leventon the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escaped Pokemon, one after another? I honestly didn't believe the Professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Nice. Oh ho, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Ziggy. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Hello. Got to admit, it's true. You've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Selene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? I have not gone far enough to know what that means with the outbreaks, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's just like a lot of Pokemon. I don't know. Guess I'll find out. Eventually you should be able to have Pokemon who you've caught go live in the village pastures. Oh, go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now you two, let's not dilly dally. Captain Selene awaits our report at headquarters. Can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Let's go. Dash time. Oh. Dash. Yes. Is she gonna be like upset? She's gonna be like, what did you do? My friends! Wait, I should probably talk to them, right? He's Ray. Can't wait to see the. Yeah, you already said that. Boring. Can I talk to him? No. I want to talk to the man. Ah. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit. It set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours. The official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. It changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Nice. Go change in your uniform. Use the mirror in your quarters to make sure to put it on right. I it's clothing. How complicated could it be? Although I guess traditional Japanese clothing can be tricky. 
the way you like tie it up is supposed to be like a, spe a specific method. I don't know. Haven't haven't worn any. It looks comfortable. I hope to go to Japan one day, see the rural sights. Go camp. I want to go camping in Japan. Go to the hot springs. Ooh, sounds nice. You want to change your outfit? Yes. Go to Okinawa. Go to the beach. That'd be awesome. Um, time to put on your uniform. Let's do it. Be yeah. There we go. Nice. We got anything else? Oh, those big socks are part of the sandals. I see. Poppy red. Oh, lavender ice. Ooh. Brown. I think that's more accurate to my actual eyes. We got anything cool? Whoa. Yellow, blue, green. I like green. Green eyes are pretty. Hazel is nice. I think I'm going to go with purple because of the way it contrasts with my little hair uh, ties, I guess. Yes, let's go with that. Whoop, sorry. Ah, oh, I need to get a better mic stand. Change in your survey core uniform. Good work, ya dingus. Look at you in the survey core uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. See, so you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Hey, thanks. Well, that defeats the purpose of uh, why I picked these contacts, but okay. Now present yourself to the commander. Alright, upstairs. What's that? Spoiled apricorn? When did I get that? Uh, wait. Third floor. What's up? I have been waiting for you. Yeah. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I should back up from the mic for him. Hmm, so you are Iggy. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, Let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! I'm gonna be clipping the mic a lot with him. Uh. Try to throw him. Yeah! Oh, I got flipped. Hmm, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Iggy. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. That was the plan. Complete. I did it. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. You perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed. See, the more you add to the Pokédex, the more your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. Uh, a recipe for crafting Pokéballs. Apricorn and Tumblestone. And 3,000 Poké Dollars as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Ray, 
You are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, you can even catch Pokémon with Pokéballs we've crafted ourselves. Well, listen to me, Prattalon. Let's go to the crafts work so you can try it yourself. Ugh, extra spitty. Excuse me. Let's let's go. I got a goal. Well done, earning a place in our team. Oh, my name is Antha. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. An everyday kimono and everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Yeah, sure, probably. Hey, hey this way to the crafts works. Cra craft works. Crafts is is works is is is. Up. This here's the craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I want a game. A survival-y game like this, where you have to wash your clothes and people will like give you crap for it and it'll like make it harder to negotiate and other stuff if you're just dirty. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. As for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. And then, if there's fighting in that game, if you get like blood on you, people are gonna lose it if you still have that blood on you. I guess that's kind of what they're trying to do in Yandere Sim, but not... Mm. Uh, I don't have high hopes for that game at this point. Any recipes you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. You can use the workbenches. Yeah. She just said that. Uh, let's do it. Hello? Oh, I gotta pick the amount. 20. You made 20 Pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. The basics of crafting. Yeah, my mic stand's very squeaky. Really need to get a new one. Maybe I'll just, like, grease this one up. I don't know. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokémon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokéballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also that more Pokémon species can be duly recorded in a Pokédex. And on that note, here you are. I got a Pokédex. It's just a book. Hmm. Open. Do-do-do-do-do. Chronologically, alphabetically, numerically. Wait, so how many we got? 127, that's it. That's not too bad. Maybe I will 100% this one. That's much easier than like a lot of the new Pokemons because new Pokemons got like 800. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. We'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor to complete the Pokédex. Gotta get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Iggy. Ugh, the word tasks is very difficult for me. Anything that's like S hard consonant S is very difficult because it's like tasks. Not tasks. Yeah, there's, it's not easy. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here if you go. What's. Oh, it's that guy. You're going to the Fieldlands camp. Would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Hmm. I'm down. Let's see what he wants. 
Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Yes. So I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a war reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. Sure. Wurmple can evolve. I have heard this. Starly, you want to start? I got one. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokédex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokémon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokédex the moment you've completed it. I can just do that right now, actually. Like, I have the, I have the entry, right? I don't, research level zero, but I caught it. Huh. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, well. Probably makes sense later. Who's this? Those ears. No, I can't recall them. I know Shinx's ears has odd markings on the insides, but where were they? No use. Can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? You catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? Gotta see one with my own eyes. Please. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Oh, I got one for you. Oh, right here. Got one of those shinks to show me. That's the guy. Alrighty, let's have a peek at these round ears. That's it. So yours have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. I can't tell you what a relief this is. I feel like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Well, no problem, buddy. Free potions, that's it. I got potions for free. Oh, whoop. Garrow, you're at the photography. Oh, photography studio, cute. Dun, dun, dun. Come on in and give it a try. Hmm, not right now. What's up? Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Uh, oh, I actually remembered where I went last time. Here we go. Look at me run. So, a lot of people compare this to Breath of the Wild, but actually, I'm getting more Monster Hunter vibes. Am I the only one who's made that comparison? I haven't seen anybody talk about it, but... Yeah, the, like, cordoned off areas and, like, hunting for the creatures. It's, like, somewhere between Monster Hunter and Breath of the Wild. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely... I, I'm enjoying it more than I do most uh, mainline Pokemon games, so... Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokédex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokédex for you to reference any time. Hmm. Okay. Instantly check the research tasks. Okay, that's useful. You must catch and battle diverse Pokémon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Iggy. Oh, excuse me. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. <laughs> Here I go! Nice. Hmm... 
See? That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. That's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. Oh, we're going back to blacked out? They changed it to whited out in, like, Gen 2. And those Shinx got me with Thundershock. I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Thanks. How do I dodge? Why? Wow. Rolling. What's up, Bidoofs? Get ready for some Survey Corps wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokédex. We'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Bidoof. Did you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right. Cast catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more. Okay. When it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Hmm. Ooh, buddy. Okay, focus. Ah. Oh. Hmm, I need to evolve at least one. Number defeated heavy specimens. I'll catch a couple more at least. Gotcha. I'm even gonna wait to see the work. Ba bam. Oh hey. Oh, they all level up, huh? How can I? How do you fight them? I guess just throw one of my Pokemons at him. We ran away. Hey! Hey, get back here, you coward! Fight me! Yeah, whatever. What's up? I know I'm laying on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokédex when you focus on a Pokémon to check your research tasks for it. You just hold ZL and press down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to catch him. Give it a try. Okay. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you've finished some tasks. Me king. Oh. Do he see me? Got him. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, he was too far away. Dang it. That's fine. I completed the task, at least. Yeet. Fight him. Fight him! Hit him with the left foul. Mm, is that what the triangle means? Man. Okay. Fight him. Ah, dip. Fighting them is going to be tricky. Oh, you're way over there. Let's go, uh... Actually, what's the deal with Shinx? Uh, task I got for him. Gotta defeat more, catch more. Ground type moves. Oh, I gotta watch it do attacks, huh? Bam. Fight me. Oh, 
Dang it. Do the move. And give me a bite. Arr. Oh, there we go. Yes, let's do it. So I'm using quick attack. And I caught him, so... It's working out alright. Level up. Nice. Completed the task. By doof. By doof a high, high water. Yeah. Reforms defeated. Yeah, let's fight him. Beat him up. Beat him up. Got him. Him with the gust. Hit him with the bust. Mm. Got him. Nice. Leveled up. Oh, what is this? Can I have some? Can I have some? Guess not. What's up? Around here you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I see him. What? This means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Uh, don't take damage. Just the screen turn red shirt. Sure. Speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. Gotta see the move in battle for it to count toward that task, so battling is extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Buizel's tasks. Okay, fight me. Fight me! Youch. Got him. Got him. You're not Buizel. Where the Buizel's at? Can I go in the water? I can. Oh, oh there's a Wurmple! I need that guy. Get him. Did I get him? Did I get him? Got out. Get him. Nice. Now where the Bleasel's at? Ah, oh, that's a Bidoof. I was told there are Bleasels in this area. Did you lie to me? Better not have lied to me. Hmm. Oh, there's a couple. Need my tasks for these bullies. Large specimens, number caught, number defeated. Well, I could catch one, so I'll do that. Whoa! I guess that's the big thing, is that you're getting attacked by Pokemon out in the... the outside. 
hit him with the left bow. Oh, no, he's gonna die. Isn't he? Ooh, oh, barely survived. Nice. Let's hit him with Pokeball. There's no way I use that many Pokeballs. He gave me like 50 at the beginning, didn't he? Nice. Got him. Oh. Oh. He had a leap. Level up. Hmm. Up. We caught. Oh, I could catch a couple more while I'm in the area. E do. Got him. Give me some berries there, Rowlet. For Africans. Get him. Nope. Back. I'm just running and gunning with these. Get bedoofed. A ponyta. It's mine. He'll never see me. Oh. Got a little weird. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. And now we're going to switch over to that point. Uh, oh, I don't actually have it. Huh. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just having a fine old time. Oh, who's that? Who's there? I don't know, but I caught him. It was a BD. Nice. Do I have limited capacity? Grab that leak. Nice. Feels like I could run out. Fight him. Kill him! You think it's guard up. Can't get hit him with a gust. Don't. Okay. What? Oh. Let's heal up in a minute. <laughs> the feature. Nice. Um. Ah, da da. There's a potion. Oh man, Rowlet. Then. Let's give him a couple berries. There we go. I switch out what Pokemon I have. I don't need all these Bidoofs. It's not like a Pokedex I gotta get. Or a uh, uh, PC. Not too many Bidoofs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Thanks, bud. 
Uh, sneaked up on you. Doing pretty well for a mystery, mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. When am I gonna learn how to mine? <coughs> Select the crafting kit from the key items pocket to craft. And a recipe for potions. What do I need? Is it Oron berries? Yeah, Oron berry and a leek. The crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an Oron berry and a medicinal leek, you can whip up a potion. So heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex's cover. Oh, I gotta turn them in, okay. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Leventon. See you soon. Hmm. I could get quite a few. I'm gonna go with this berry. Get this berry. Oh dear. These guys seem pretty relaxed. Thanks. Oh, do I have to throw my Pokemon at it? Is that what it is? That's what it is. Okay. I'm good. Hmm? Who said that? Hey, get out of here. I appreciate you don't have to actually sit there and pick it up, but also the little wait time as your Poke Pokemon comes back to you is a little obnoxious. What is that? Is that Shanks? What is this? Just sleeping. Uh, I can't get up that way, can I? Well, won't know until I try. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did it. Oh, sorry. Guess there's nothing there. Hello? Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Money? Heck yeah. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Nice. 2,000 Poké Dollars. I got 3,000 as a sign-on bonus, but that's pretty good. Mm hmm I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I gotta get to research level 10 with Starly to complete that request. Come on, research points. Nice. The doof has an unsophisticated face and is rarely flustered by anything. There have been incidents involving Badoof sauntering into villages and gnawing on the houses without a single care. Weasel. What can it do? Nice. Hmm. Level up. 
You've made good progress on those research tasks, Ziggy. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Nice. This game's pretty neat. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Yeah, it's cool. Mm, yeah, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. New rank. One out of ten. That ain't gonna take too long at all. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. You obtained a recipe for crafting heavy balls. Black Tumblestone, okay. Revives. One Viva Choke and two Medicinal Leaks. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, Iggy, my girl, I believe a jolly good congratulation is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job as a survey corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lap. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Iggy than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day... I was telling the guy, you can't fit that in your friggin' mouth. He said, just watch me. So, uh, yeah, funeral's on Tuesday. Uh, anyways, hey, Iggy, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Of course. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. You've been catching lots of Pokemon. You can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. Uh, where are the pastures? I do want to change that ponyta. Friggin' ponyta. Actually, I should go give Overguard that Wormful, right? Have you got a Wormful you could give me? Got several. What, what we got? Let me give you a good one. Level six. Yeah. He really brought me one. It must be as good as the rumors say. These little wiggly feet. I like to name this Wurmple right away. 
Now, I've no been told the Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautyfly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Bugene? Ooh, I like Bugene. Yeah, I like Bugene too. Guess that's the side then. I'll raise Bugene to be of Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. Some dazzling honey. Where are the pastures at, though? Over here? Oh, that's like a shrine. Yeah, good, good. Uh, where? Oh, look at that little Togepi. Look at that little Togepi. Look at him walking. Thanks. Oh, are those the pastures over there? Looks like it might be more of a campground. Oh no, that's hay. Those aren't tents. Hello. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with with me? Yeah, take my Bidoof. Hey, oh. oh, I see. Nope, not release. Uh, oh, I see, I have to switch him for this. There we go. Um. Hang on to this Shanks. Number 15. Shanks. Um. Blazel. Do I have any? I don't have any water ones, so let's. Yeah, let's switch them out. And I'll hang on to one Bidoof. He's a cutie. Oof. Back to your survey work then. Keep it up. I will. Thank you. Horrors. So dark looking. Beak. Yes. Good. There we go. Hmm. Yes, I see. Hello? Ray. Yes, what's up? Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. And that is... I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, I even, and I've even got my own partner. I just can't do it. My partner? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. The guy. This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at fight 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 at my side. My mind just went blank. And, and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? How do you know what electricity is? Big ah! I guess I didn't see, it looks like everything's electrical here. But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. I wanna do my Survey Corps work well. My partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team. I don't like the lighting effects on some of these Pokemon. It's making them look kind of dreary. Oh, are you gonna give it a go, mate? Let's see it. Pikachu. Muss him up. Muss him up, Ponyta. Level 9. Uh oh. Back. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, oh, that's just paralysis. Okay. No! no! Okay, we're gonna switch to... I forget. Is he good against water or the other way around? Let's switch to... No, wait, what am I doing? Bird... Yeah, flying is weak. Um... Electric, electric would probably be okay. Level six. Yeah, let's let's get the doof out. Go badoof. Doof him up. Whoop. Uh oh. Oh, I got hit. Give it a shot. Roll out. Ba bam. Break the cow. Don't kill my boy. Roll him out. Nice. I win. Battle decided. Whoa, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. Move mastered. New move. That was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon? You don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Biga! Ah, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Yeah, you are, little buddy. Yep. You want me to remember this? It's a big chart. So you're the one? That new recruit everyone's talking about? Oh, I see. The name's Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fire in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu's a master of an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get it might even get out two moves before the opponent can attack. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Hmm. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about after, before going to tackle May's request. You remember? I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now s to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring. And maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zizu. A request from Mai. Hmm. I think I'm okay. Uh. Yeah, let's talk to Zizu. Why not? Teach my. Boizel. Pokemon can master moves or learn new moves. Hello there, Survey Corps recruit! Do you need something from me? I want new moves. So, which of your darling Pokemon do you want me to tutor? Boizel. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, fighting would be good. Yeah, let's get that. Ah, yeah. Uh, nothing particular.
Let's talk to everybody. What's your deal? Exchange merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, crap works right. That's the foods. What's this? Oh, we can buy some stuff. Cake lure base. Hmm. Welcome, young lady. What can I help you with today? Here's something. Blended, let's get you inside, shall we? Go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look would you like to go for? No. Oh. All the same, huh? Oh, wait. You have to click it, I see. Hmm. Shorn. Bald. Short's really cute. I think we're going with short. Gold. Black. White. Chest newt. Uh, let's keep it slate. Gold. Oh, my eyebrows. Dude, let's have... Let's have gold eyebrows. Heck yeah. Lovely, I'll have you styled and ready in no time. Nice. They're all done now. Why, you look simply wonderful. Thank you for coming in today. Take care not to leave anything behind. Come back any time, dear. Hello? A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. A shaman fancy kimono and a shaman fancy bottoms. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. Anthem. Where do I go to heal up? That's a photo studio. That's my house. Is there not like a Poke Center? Doesn't look like they're all residential. Hmm. Building a new one. Armin. Sticks. Where do I go to get healed? Oh, is it? Actually, is it here? They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my sootfoot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. Hmm. Well, okay, I'll figure it out another time. I am fully healed up right now. Stay safe. Wait, this isn't correct. Where is... Are you just heading out anywhere? Stay safe. Yes. Let's do it. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. 
There's a secret technique to catching Pokémon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokémon's back with your Pokéball will surprise it, making e it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Backstrike. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokédex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokémon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you've accomplished that. Ooh. Mushroom recipe? Ooh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps. Cakeler recipe, eh? The mushroom cake. Hmm. Scourge not from the forages of thy fellows. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Okay. Lily, lily, lily. Hmm, that marvelous rich dune. Ah, uh, yeah. Cricketot. Okay. Show Yale to complete Pokédex entry. Whoops. Nope. Never mind. Looked like a path. What he's mushrooms at though? Rolling. Where they at though? Where they at though? Wanna talk? Oh, uh, snap your ankles, kid. I guess not. Medicinal leak. That's the return. Where is me at? Over there. Whoa. Whoa. That falls a little, uh, a little silly. up. Uh, uh, oh. Can I not? There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, uh, at your rank you should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Munchlax. Hey, over here! Hello? This here is Iggy. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. You feel confident that you can lead your Pokémon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Whoa. Yeah, beat him up. Battle time. Fight. Imbell. Oof, nothing. Oh, he got burned though. Uh oh. Ah, uh, let's try that. Oop. Ah, 
on, no. That's quite right, that's quite right. I'm just gonna switch to... Darley. Alright, hit him with the aerial eight. Whoa! Oof! Hurt bites. And then let's use Gust. Agile style. Bo bam Uh-oh, did not finish him off! No! Flip. Ah, flip and dip. Now let's whip out Growl. <laughs> Gus. Bomb style. <laughs> nice. Battle decided. Or Starly. Come on. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Thanks. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? You should prove to be useful materials. Viva chokes. Also called a morning dew bud. Aw, oh, artichokes. I haven't had artichoke in forever. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. I like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights. Oh, who's calling? That strange thing to me of yours telling you where to go? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though... Before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Mighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Let me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea, and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human. The old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokémon out uh, here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokémon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokémon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Whoa. Who's that? Hey, what are you? Come back here. Lady Ba! Oh no, it's a cricket tie. I didn't mean to fight, but uh. Well, let's do it. Alright, let's just poke it, ball it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's it. You caught him. Nice. Humble stone. Somebody in there. Hello? A startled burn burmy? What the heck is Stella face? Ah, uh, that's it. Is 
them one more time. For a bug. Not very effective. Zabam. Nice. Oh, never mind. Got out. You struggle bug. Nope. That's the one I want. Get him. Nice. Caught. Jeff, that guy. Who's this? Oh, it's a Starly. Cricket hot. It's a vivid. Okay. Okay. I don't even want to catch you. I just want some fruit. Cherry berry. What do you want? What do you want, Bjorn? Oh, there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a tree. You want three? Dude, I got berries. Thanks. Handy tip. Throw a berry near wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Freeze the bear berries. Wow, 15 Pokeballs. Very generous. Pepper up plant. I still need a mushroom. Oh, Geodude. Mm, get him. You're looking the wrong way. Oh, I guess you're not. Fight. Hit him with the double hit. Double hit him with the hit. Double hit. Oh, is it one of the status ones? Let's see how much after that. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Please. Wow, he's raring to go. In with the Aqua Jet. Pokeball. Whoop. Nice. No thanks. I get the black tumble stone. Nice. Um, I should craft. I should craft a heavy ball now that I got that. Okay. Oh, there's a guy in there. 
Yes. Is it real dude? Him with jet. Hit him with the jet. Mushrooms at. Wait. Okay, that is my. Let's. Oh, ooh! Stamp. Yes, get him. Yes. Stantler. Stantler. Oh, I'm way away from where I was supposed to be going, huh? Oops. Oh, well. The odd dudes. They jacked as heck. Hello? Hey. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? up. Woo, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? Suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by almighty Sinnoh. De -la -la -whoop. That's not it. It's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. That's a good noise. That's what you're here for, Iggy. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Hey, thanks. On my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land as a... If they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this Alpha. So go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Iggy. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Uh, glowing red. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Rowlet, he's the strongest. Let's get it. Oops. I missed. Let's sneak up on him or not. Oh. Get him. Oh. Build with wild. Oh, it has aerial ace, huh? 
Well, dip. Um. Wrong style. Ooh, that was pretty good. No. No, my little man. Hit him with an ember. Who you really think is freaking tuned? Nice. Easy. My weasel master to move. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. You best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Whoa. Who's that? What, what in the world? Oh. Big boy. It's the great weird deer. Hey. What you got to say? He's got big old cheeks. Looks upon you with kindness, Iggy. say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of his suey while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon laying someone right on it. Why, it's just like the right Pokemon of Alola. Professor. Wait. Professor, take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Iggy took care of her request. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still... <coughs> oh, Jesus, excuse me. Is it truly really fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, they imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. Great Weird Deer has taken a liking to Iggy as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. A clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. <laughs> oh god, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokémon, we'll need to know them better. The first step toward that is completing the Pokédex. The construction core should be here soon. We'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can be asked to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's it. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Nice. Nice. Got my guys. Mm. Got face. Got a real face on him, that guy. Ooh, about halfway there. Ooh, boy. I think I'm going to leave it there. My voice is feeling kind of kind of roasted, so I don't want to put it in any worse shape. Oh, well, we'll finish out the cutscene and then, yeah. Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. You all heard the grave news that frenzied Cleavor from the rumors it ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. 
Ah, this is the Clevo that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Iggy here can handle things just fine. That Cleavor is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokémon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokémon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day. Rise and shine, Iggy. The boss wants you. Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. How's about a save? Back to this another time. So yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. So um, be sure to tune back in. I'll be back on it, you know, pretty much every Saturday. Maybe some Sundays. I'll see how my voice is feeling tomorrow. Um, where is where's the save? Ah, there it is. Saved. All right, yeah, that'll do it for today. I'm gonna raid over to someone, but you know, thanks for watching. I always appreciate anybody who shows up. You know, I do my best with this stream, and I'm gonna be doing a a big lay layout overhaul. Uh, so I'll be using my camera again and stuff. I need to get a better computer, but that's you know I'm saving up. So hopefully that won't be too long. But keep keep watching if you will. And if you haven't, please consider following and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Check out my socials down below, like my YouTube and uh, my YouTube archive channel for this. Uh, there's also my Discord, which you're welcome to join. I'd be happy to see you all there. And yeah. Thank you for watching. See y'all probably Tuesday, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Check in to see what's up. You know, if you follow, you'll get notifications. So that'll let you know. But thanks for watching, everybody. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right. Let's see who's streaming. Anybody I know? If not, I can just go to a different Arceus streamer. Ah, there we go. Evil Farter. I haven't watched any of his streams in a bit. So let me just rage y'all over to him. Have a great time with that. Let him know I sent you. And hope hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.